hello welcome back so we are going to be designing this bearing so to start let's start a new part and click ok since this is metric so make sure you change your units to metric and I'm going to also improve my image quality and click ok then the first thing we are going to do now is start on our front plane so draw a sketch so you go into the sketch mode and I'm going to just draw three circles something like that just for now and this first circle is over here and we see that the diameter is 64 we are going to draw the back the black the back um, shape first then we are going to walk from our walk from the back to the front so that is 64 so we are going to make it 64 and um, this is 14 so we are going to make this circle and that circle equal to each other and we are also going to make it horizontal to the origin point and the same thing horizontal to this origin point and what we can do is we can just draw a line here and make that line a construction line and click this point click the center line and click that point and make them symmetrical to each other so that way everything is fully defined not almost not fully defined but symmetric so now we want to add a dimension to this which is 14 and we want to also add another dimension so if you dimension from this point to that it gives you the radius if you move it over here but if you move it somewhere it gives you the diameter i mean the full length of it so we are going to make that 60 96 and as you can see that is that too that's that shape and the next thing we need to do is just draw another circle here and here and we are going to draw a line that is tangent another line that is tangent another line that is tangent and one more line and just to make sure click the line click the line and the circle and make sure they are tangent to each other and you have to do the same thing for all four lines so make sure it's tangent and make sure this is tangent and make sure this is tangent good so make these two line these two circles equal to each other so those two circles equal and now we're just going to trim that circle and let me see if I still have nothing okay nothing so I'm going to trim this side too and the only thing we need to do now is add uh, our dimension to this and this is going to be a radius of 17 and something is wrong here and i need to make this line and that circle tangent to each other and and the only thing i need to do now is trim this part out so i'm going to trim this part out again and we have our shape which is the back shape and we're just going to go into the feature extrude and we are going to extrude it forward and it is 14 right there so i'm going to one four and let me move it over here so you can see it one four and click ok so the next thing we want to do is we see the entire thing is 33 so the way you can do that is go on the back face and draw your sketch and number two and we can draw a circle and just click that circle and click the arc and make them co radial to each other so it's fully defined now you want to go to feature extrude the other direction and you want to extrude it 33 
good so the next thing we want to do is just we just have two more features to go so click on this face sketch normal two and I'm going to draw a circle and the the diameter of that circle is between 41.28 and 41.17 so and I like I said I always pick a number in between so what you can do is do 41.28 plus 41.17 close parentheses so you have it's just like the way you would do bud mass or pandas you have to like close the parentheses just the same way you would do mathematics divided by two so you can also you can type equation into sidewalks as you can see and just click ok so it gives you a number in between or you can just pick any number in between and use it so once you do that and now you're just going to extrude cut and you want to do true or so it's extrude cut in it through the back and click ok and now what we want to do is click on the top plane and sketch number two and let's let me just bring it somewhere over here and just draw a circle over here and the circle from as you can see is from the face to the back is 13 so from this face from this face this act this point to that face is 13 and the circle is on the center point so the circle will be vertical to my origin point and that circle is six so if you look down that is what it looks like and we're just going to extrude cut up the other direction and we can do true next and click ok and the only thing we need to do now is just add a fillet so we add a fillet which is three to this face we add a fillet to that edge and this edge and that edge and click ok and that is this part that is how you make it and we can just go into the material appearance metal and I have my let me minimize this I have my um, so I can just select a cast where is the stainless steel so I can browse down steel and um, let me use the carbon I want to use the carbon the carbon steel just going to use the carbon steel okay and and that is how you make that part anyway thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial bye